in the previous video i described how a book and its contents even from the grossest level like a book down to the finest level like a half verse or a sentence can be represented using a tree of book portion objects you know from computer science that a graph is nothing but a collection of vertices and edges and i told you that uh, you can represent a book using such a tree and i even indicated how you can do that using the book portion json data structure because it is a, a book portion is a subclass of json object with target it contains something called a target field see here the target field which is an array targets field and uh, the array will have uh, items which point to another book portion object and that object is identified using the container id now if you see here uh take this note for example the chapter note in it the targets field will be set so as to contain the address the underscore id database address of this book object that is how we know that this chapter is to be associated with this particular book and not some other book note for example this one here similarly uh the verse book portion object will have in its targets field the database id the container id uh, so called we are storing it as a container id but it is the database id the underscore id of the chapter uh, book portion object in other words this uh, what i'm saying is that these arrows uh, this the uh, edges between these two nodes any given two book portion nodes is represented using a uh object within the targets array of that book portion so uh any edge to repeat is represented by a, an appropriate entry in the target targets field of the target so that's how we represent both the object and its edge this is true of any uh not just uh, of uh, book portion objects but anything which extends the class called json object with target including as we will see later annotations and its children and its descendants all right now that is not all because i had mentioned this in the previous video itself and if this were all which needed to be said i would not need this video there is an alternate way of representing this uh, structure which is a collection of uh, edges and uh, vertices where you don't need to know the underscore id of anything so the reason is if the book portion uh object uh, representing a chapter is already there in the database only then you can have its underscore id otherwise you don't even have underscore id then how will you say that this book portion this verse belongs to this chapter you may be trying to upload a new book in which case the book itself does not exist in the database it won't have an underscore id and uh you still want to say that this book contains this chapter and it contains this other chapter and another chapter and another set chapter and so on so you don't have this underscore ids but you still want to tell the server to store a book which has this structure right so in that case there is an alternate way of representing this tree this tree of proportion of its what is that way it is by wrapping each of this book portion in within a class within an object of the type json object node 
I had briefly mentioned it in my uh, in in an earlier video, but I'll remind you. Uh, so there is something uh, called a JSON object node, which is totally different from JSON object with target. So what is a JSON object uh, JSON object node? It is something which can contain within it a JSON ob a JSON object with target. I can show you here. Here. I just showed you this book portion object. Now if you see here, there is something called JSON object, this JSON object with target and then there is JSON object node here. Let us look at its structure. It has three properties of which JSON class is, uh, some is not really that uh, critical for our present dis discussion. It will have an array field called children and it will have another field called content an object field now suppose uh, i want to represent let us say this particular node and this edge and its uh, children what will i do what i will do is i will create a json object node now a json object node is not a book portion but I want to be able to send this book portion through this JSON object node to some other service. So what I do is that I create a JSON object node and set its content to equal uh, a given book portion object. So I take a book portion object and I set it in the children, uh, the content field of a JSON object node. All right, then so, so far so good. I can represent any given node. I can just put it put uh, any given node, whether it is a book portion or an annotation, which we'll see later on, within a JSON object node. How do I say that uh, this book portion should have this chapter and this other chapter and so on? For that, I use the children field. So, so far we saw the content field, the children field. What will the children field contain? The children fields will actually contain, this is slightly misleading, it should be JSON object node. The children field will actually contain another JSON object node. See, this itself is a JSON object node, it's a recursive definition. This itself is a JSON object node and its children field, children uh, field items will be a collection of JSON object nodes. So, I have a, a JSON object node containing the book portion corresponding to book. Within, uh, and that is set inside the content field. Within the children field, okay. I will have JSON object nodes corresponding to each chapter within this book. So, there will be one book portion for uh, chapter 1 and that will be contained in a JSON object node and similarly I have a uh, book portion for chapter 2 that will be contained in a separate JSON object node so we will have JSON object 1, uh, node 1, JSON object node 2 we have two nodes and these two nodes will be set in the children field of the JSON object node containing the book object so in this way so in this representation, I don't need to know the object ID of, uh, let us say, the book or book portion or anything in order to represent the hierarchy, in order to represent the tree of book portion objects. And this turns out to be a useful way of uh, querying uh, uh, book portion database and to responding to such queries. And this is indeed what we are using uh, as of now in the Vedavapi Ullekhanam API. I hope uh, this was useful and it was clear. I am sure if you meditate on uh, this uh, JSON object node which uh, whose structure I have just described now, it should be clear how we can represent any given tree and how you can tell the server to store a new book 
using uh, by passing section 3. Okay, thank you. Uh, if there are any questions, let me know.